The Halfway Hill Fire burning in Millard County now covers more than 10,000 acres. It is 0% contained this afternoon. Fox 13 Spencer Joseph is live in Fillmore with the very latest on the firefight and those helping the firefighters. Spencer. Kelly, we're going to go ahead and give you a live look at this fire. You can see actually just in the last 10 or 15 minutes, this pretty big plume of smoke, more on the front side of the fire than the back, uh, has popped up, really burning heavy into the forest here. Uh, this fire really has burned back behind this mountain ridge and is now uh, significantly burning the back side of this, and that is difficult terrain for fire crews. But today, I spoke with one man who is here in town who says his whole mission today is to give back to those crews keeping his town safe. As the Halfway Hill fire continues to burn. Just to leave the no. Yes, yes, it opened. Salvador yeah. Sanchez continues to work. Thank you. He's cooking up and taking orders. And then with rice on the side. At his taco truck, Tacos Los Panchos. We live from the people. So what we have is because they help us. So we have to give a little, little bit to them. Support wheel. And he's an intricate part of the operations at the Halfway Hill Fire. Because, you see, he's giving back to first responders who are hungry, working the fire free of charge. The best for them, I don't know, it's, it's hard to be in this weather over there. But they are, of course, keeping his chip jar full. One of those eating here is Brian Monroe. We had the fire kind of start up. Um, it's always one of those things that deeply concern us. He's with the U.S. Forest Service here in town. Um, we were able to save houses, um, but not able to save it from escaping up the canyons. And so at this point, I think our, our biggest worry is, is just the size of it. While the fire burns up the canyon, he's now looking towards the future impacts this fire might have. This community uh, needs this watershed. It needs its, its uh, both culinary and, and irrigation waters. And so we're also looking ahead for possibly flooding, um, debris flow, and, and stuff coming out of the canyon because, again, these are the headwaters that, that feed right into this community. Predominant activity right now is moving towards the north and the east. The Great Basin uh, Incident Management Team 4 is now in charge of this fire and are working to contain it. One of the challenges with this fire is the access. There aren't a lot of roads going into this area. Prompting them to take to the skies. This fire started from an abandoned campfire, with four being arrested. Fire crews are reminding people that human-caused fires like this one can be prevented. It's extremely important that as you're going out, whether it's to work or to recreate on public lands, that you're careful with whatever it is that you're doing. So as crews continue to work, Sanchez continues to cook. Two tacos. <laughs> and the community of Fillmore continues to watch and be thankful for crews working to protect their town. If you do something bad, you'll get something bad. So it's better to do something good so you can get something good. So that's life. So. <laughs> So we just had a fire helicopter pass us going to get uh, some more water. Actually, if we take a look over here, you can actually see one uh, that's popping up and heading in that direction. Um, but right now on this fire line, uh, the smoke is not a significant concern for the front side down in Fillmore, but it is drifting to the back side of this mountain range, heading into those communities that are back there. But again, fire crews trying their best to get a handle on this, even as this afternoon the heat seems like it is picking up a little bit. Bob Kelly. Spencer, in your story there, you mentioned there are concerns about the watershed, also potential flooding impacts for the future. What will be done to mitigate that? So to mitigate that response, what they would do is bring in something called a burn area emergency response team. Uh, that bear team, as it's called, would actually come in and assess the watershed itself um, and then make a determination on where mitigation efforts might be needed. Uh, if not, uh, making sure that there could be communities that are impacted. All of this watershed you're taking a look at back here actually funnels right back uh, to Fillmore. So that is the main concern with this situation situation right now as you are continuing to take a look at this fire but that team has been ordered it is not on its way yet but they say that those experts will be coming to this area soon bob kelly
secondary issues associated with wildfires. Spencer Joseph, live for us this evening. Thanks so much.